Hi everybody. Today we're going to discuss a monkey jump. Do you know what that is? What is that, a monkey jump? Well, it's an endgame move uh, that you can play on the first line and to destroy your opponent's territory. Ah, I think I know that one. This one, right? Yes, exactly. And uh, what's so special about it? Is it complicated? Well, when you know the variations, it's not complicated, but a lot of players make mistakes uh, in this situation, especially against uh, stronger opponents in handicap games. Black will panic and uh, yeah, do a strange move and white will destroy even more of the territory. Maybe black will play here. Exactly, that's very bad. Don't do that. Don't do that. Also, don't play here. No. <laughs> Actually, that's actually good sometimes. But yeah, in some special cases, maybe. <laughs> I think so. So, the normal way to answer the monkey jump is uh, playing here. Yes, this Kozumi is almost always okay. White uh, needs to pull back. Mm -hmm. And black blocks. And now white has only uh, one choice, which is to yeah draw back. And black can seal off the territory, and everything is okay. Oh, there are some weird numbers here. Let's see what they mean. Right, so let's compare the situation of the monkey jump to when black actually has the territory in the corner. So instead of the monkey jump, black blocks here. Uh, now we can assume that this is center for black. Right. And, uh, well, black uh, gains six points here. But first of all, it's important to realize that uh, when uh, black plays here, since this is black sente, black will most likely gain this move because this move for white is not sente. So, in this situation, it's more interesting for black to yeah, play here than for white. Uh, I mean, to play here, then for white to play here. So we can assume, like you said, Peter, that uh, black will gain this move. And from that perspective, from that position, we can see that black has six points here, right? Yeah, so black has six points here. And if we compare this to when white made the monkey jump... All the points are gone, six points. Yeah, the six points are gone, and also, in addition, white got the marked uh, three points. Right. So, so it's six plus three? Exactly. It's nine points. Yeah, so in this case, the monkey jump was worth nine points. And it's also sente for white. Yeah. Let's uh, quickly see this sequence again. So when white plays the monkey jump, black blocks here. And this is worth 9 points in center for white. Hey, but uh, Peter, can you go back to the beginning? And um, when black blocks here, can't white extend into the corner like this? Uh, like this is maybe possible when there's a lot of room in the corner for white to live. But, uh, well, he's got no chance when black blocks here. Yeah, he's cut off. And what about two moves in the future? If... Uh, black blocks here is it the same can, can white cut maybe yeah so uh, there's a uh, white gets cut off here mm -hmm. so again when there's really a lot of room in the corner oh, okay then maybe he can live but uh, in this case there's not enough room yeah usually this probably doesn't work huh? no only in uh, special situations so when white plays the monkey jump one way to respond for black is here yeah, this is standard. But black has other options. Black can also uh, consider this move. Uh, Peter, why? Why would you do this? The other one works, right? Yeah, but sometimes there are multiple moves which are possible. And uh, that's, in this case, the case. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, black can play here to yeah. block white. This is a very nice move. And... Um, in the end, we get exactly the same result as uh, in the previous variation. Is this also 9 points? Yeah, this is also 9 points. Okay. 
And what about when uh, white extends upwards? Uh, yeah, like if white doesn't take the stone, but... Yeah, you might uh, consider this move, but mm. um, white ends in Gota here. Oh, that's very painful. Yeah, so black can Tanuki now. And in this variation, black had to come back to uh, defend his cutting point. Right, Sente is very important. This is actually uh, something that we can't stress enough, especially in the end game. Sente is, yeah, one of the most important things. Also, to keep Sente, it's, uh, yeah, it's very important. Uh, Are there other things that the black can do? Yeah, so now we've seen this uh, move and also this move, mm -hmm. but. Um, Black can also make Whoa. this very ugly move. This looks very strange. Yeah, it looks very bad, but actually uh, you get the same result. Oh, yeah. So again, white can push up, but uh, that's not a good move. As he loses center. Yeah, and now we come back to the same position. Yeah, and instead of this move, black can also Whoa. play here. Even weirder. Yeah, and we get about the same result, uh, white pulls back. I would say uh, don't try this at home, but <laughs> is that correct? <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, maybe a bit risky? Maybe it's risky if um, white tries to capture the black stone. So when white tries to capture black, it's uh, very risky if white can live in the corner. Right. But uh, in this case, uh, he can't make two eyes. But uh, probably the uh, the other moves, they are more safe. But anyway, when um, white pulls back, black can play here. And we get exactly the same result as before. Oh, yes. This is the nine points again. So when white jumps like a monkey here, you can see that uh, black has two stones on the third line and because of that uh, one marked stone black can cut the two stones off if white tries to extend in the corner what happens if black has three stones on the third line like here and the marked stone is a third one the situation uh, changes in this case first of all black could respond in the same way like before and we will get the, the same result the monkey jump is still worth nine points but here black doesn't really use his uh, marked stone the third one on the third line so here this is actually better this is the correct move for black and we will see why you can expect this situation and here uh, white nookies and you can expect that black will get this in Sente. Because this is more interesting for black than for white to play there. Now A is a false eye. And let's compare this to the normal situation. Here, actually, uh, white's A point on the top is a point. Which is why it is a 9 point exchange. And on the right side, the B uh, marked point is a false eye which is why in that case it's only 8 points so when black has 3 stones on the right side and white plays here black should respond with this move and then the monkey jump is worth 8 points the proverb tells us that the monkey jump is either 9 points like here or 8 points like here but in some cases like here the monkey jump is worth less. Whoa, that's uh, surprising because it looks like black has two stones on the third line again. So shouldn't it be nine points uh, once again? Yes, the reason it's worth seven points here is that if black blocks here, right, he has a less nice follow-up. This black Hane is not center. And neither is the white Hane. Therefore, we assume that the endgame will be like this. The points are evenly divided between black and white. 
if we count the uh, black points, we will see that he has six points now. If we compare this to this situation, where white played the monkey jump, we see that all black points disappeared, and on top of that, white got one point. Total, the monkey jump was worth seven points in this case. The monkey jumps we have been looking at until now were all center for white to play. This is usual the case with the monkey jump, but sometimes the monkey jump is goater. Again, the black stones on the third line play an important role. In this case, black has an extra stone at A. White ends in Gota here, because of the marked black stone. Black does not need to come back to defend his corner. So, instead of playing here, White can play here to keep center. White has center. Later, this smaller endgame will probably be played. that in this situation, when black has not a stone at A, this move by white is not good. When black defends here, he can later play at A to remove the white point at B. If white had played in the normal way, by just pulling back here, A is a point for white now, and black still has to come back to defend his corner. When black does have a stone at A, but not at B, the monkey jump is not played. It is better endgame for white to play a small monkey jump. This move on the first line is called the small monkey jump. It is almost always inferior to the big monkey jump, but in this position, where black has a hole at A and a stone at B, it is an exception, and this jump is a good move. White can play Tanuki after black blocks here. Later in the endgame, black will probably play here, and this will be the end result. Exactly the same situation or position can arise if instead of playing here, white would play this move. If black blocks and white hanes, we get the same result. In the end, there are quite a lot of variations and you often need to calculate the different possibilities yourself. But we hope this episode gave you some inspiration on how to deal with the monkey jump. See you next time.